Hey guys, it's Cheryl from The Carter again. Today on Cooped Up with The Carter, we're going to be making string baskets and thinking about Rukasawa's sculpture from our collection. Okay, so to make our string baskets, we're going to need um, a bowl. I've got a variety here. Essentially, we're going to be laying them down. So this will be the shape of uh, the your basket that you're gonna make. You're also gonna need string. I've cut a, a variety of different lengths and different colors of string. You can use scraps or whatever you have lying around. You're also gonna need um, Elmer's glue and water and some saran wrap or plastic wrap. And it'd be a good idea to cover your surface with some sort of paper to protect your table. So first what we're going to do is mix our glue, which I've done here. Um, so you're just going to take your Elmer's glue and pour it into a container and then you're going to add water to that. You can just kind of start with a little bit and see how that goes and you kind of want it to be this consistency. So we'll go ahead and start mixing this up, right? So it's a little bit runnier than how it is when it first comes out of the bottle. And then to get started, what we're gonna do is we're gonna cover our bowl with plastic wrap so that it doesn't get glue on it. Kind of tuck it in so that it doesn't leak. So then to get started, you're just gonna start by dipping your string in your glue mixture. And you're gonna kinda run your fingers. You wanna get it wet, but you don't want it to be too wet or goopy. And then you can start um, creating a variety of shapes or patterns. You can kinda do like squiggly lines, or you can, um, if you wanna start doing a coil in the center, you can go strand by strand, but I'm just gonna do kind of random patterns here. And I might, if I need more glue, I'll, I can kind of add it as I go but you wanna make sure that it's really saturated so that it'll all stick together. You can do a single layer or you can layer on top of it, which is what I'm gonna do here. And then we'll just keep going like that. So these took about a couple of days to dry, depending on how much glue you use or how many layers you have, it may take one to two days. All right, so now let's see what we've got. So you just wanna kinda handle it gently. Um, you might have gotten a little stuck to the paper, but that's okay. So just gently remove it. Start by taking the plastic wrap off of the bowl. And just sliding that on. So the plastic just kind of came off with it. And you can just gently peel it off. And you have your Rufusala inspired string bowl. And then if you've got paper stuck, you can just kind of peel it off like that. Nice. 
We'll see you next time.